Hey everyone, this is William. Welcome back for another episode. Today we are continuing to talk about divide and conquer algorithms. And in fact, we're going to be talking about arguably one of the most influential divide and conquer algorithms out there, the merge sort algorithm. So let's get into it. What is merge sort? Merge sort is a very efficient sorting algorithm that runs in a worst case time complexity of big O of n log n. This makes it a popular choice for sorting large data sets as its performance is relatively unaffected by the input size. It works as a divide and conquer sorting algorithm by breaking down a list of items into smaller sublists and then merging them back together in a sorted manner. Merge sort operates in two phases, a divide phase followed by a conquer phase. During the divide phase, the list of items is repeatedly divided into smaller sublists until each sublist consists of only one item. In the conquer phase, the sublists are combined back together in a sorted manner by comparing the first elements of the sublists and merging them back together in order. This process is repeated until all the sublists have been merged back into a single sorted list. The space complexity of merge sort is big O of n. This means that the amount of memory required by the algorithm grows linearly with the size of the input data. In merge sort, the main source of memory usage is the storage required to hold the sublists being merged together. During each iteration of the algorithm, two sublists are merged together into a single larger sublist. The size of these sublists doubles with each iteration, so the maximum amount of memory required is proportional to the size of the input. Let's have a look at a simple example of the merge sort algorithm in action. Suppose we have the following list of numbers and we want to sort them. What merge sort will do is repeatedly split the list into until the list can be split no further. This is the divide phase. Let's have a look. And then we go into the conquer phase. This is where we merge together the lists on the way back up. In the beginning, the lists consist of just individual elements that are being merged back together into lists containing two sorted values. What you'll then notice is that the two lists that we merge together on the way up are themselves already sorted. This is key because it is what allows us to merge the list together efficiently. In the end, we end up with two sorted lists containing four values each, which we can merge together into a final fully sorted list. Awesome, we just had a look at the animated version of the merge sort algorithm. Now let's have a look in more detail at what happens during each of the two phases of the algorithm. Let's suppose again that we have a new list, this time containing six elements that we want to sort. During the divide phase, we want to split each of the existing segments in half until each segment consists of only one element. The way we keep track of each segment is by the pair of indices representing the range of that segment. This allows us to determine which portion of the list we are currently working with. I usually refer to these indices as low and high, low for the lower index and high for the upper index. To perform a segment split, we need to locate the midpoint of the segment. We can do this by taking the average of low and high, that is low plus high divided by two, and with that information, we can determine the new bounds of the left and the right segments. In the example on the screen, the low endpoint of the segment is 0 and the high endpoint is 5, so the midpoint is 2 after integer division. And once we know the midpoint, we can split the segment in two, the left one being from low to the midpoint and the right one from the midpoint plus 1 to high. We can apply this process again to split the next set of segments in half. And after a couple rounds of division, all the segments have a length of 1. 
And this marks the end of the divide phase and the beginning of the conquer phase where we sort the segments on the way up. For the conquer phase, just focus on the lowest segments first. What we want to do is sort the left and the right segments into a new list as we recurse upwards. So in the left branch, we would sort 7 before 9, and in the right branch, we would sort 2 before 6. After sorting the bottom layer, we move up and merge the segments 7 and 9 with 5, and 2 and 6 with 4 and repeat the same process for the final segments. And in the end, we get a fully sorted list. Awesome, now that we understand how merge sort works, let's have a look at some pseudocode, which more or less resembles Python. On the first line, we declare the merge sort function, which takes the list we want to sort as input. Upon entering the function, we verify that the length of the list is zero, and if it is, then return an empty list. The primary reason for checking if the length of the list is greater than zero before calling the merge sort algorithm is to prevent the occurrence of a negative index when the length of the list is zero. Following that, we can invoke the internal merge sort function by passing the initial lower and upper bounds. Since the indices are inclusive, we provide zero and the length of the list minus one as initial values. Now let's have a look at what's going on inside the recursive merge sort function. The base case for the merge sort is that the interval size is a single element, which happens when the lower index is equal to the upper index. In this case, we can return a new list containing the sole value at the current index position. It's important to note here that we want to return a deep copy of the list rather than a shallow copy. This ensures that we're working with a new copy of the list instead of just a reference. And this is crucial because a shallow copy would result a bug in the sorting process. Next, find the middle index of the segment by adding low plus high divided by 2. Then use the middle index to recursively compute the new left and right segments. Notice that the left segment spans between low to mid and the right segment spans between mid plus 1 to high. So there is no overlap between each. The final step is to merge the left and the right segments on the recursive callback, and this is where the conquer phase kicks in. Let's take a closer look at what happens inside the merge function. The input to the function is two sorted lists, left and right, and the output is a single larger sorted list that combines the left and the right lists together. Since the left and the right lists are already sorted, we take advantage of this fact to efficiently construct a new sorted list. During the merging process, keep track of two new variables, L and R, which are the indices for what position we're at in the left and the right lists, respectively. This while condition says while either the left index or the right index hasn't made it to the end of the list, continue iterating. This ensures that we merge the entirety of each list into the new sorted list before exiting the loop. The following code adds the smallest remaining element from either the left or the right list to the new sorted list. We also need to handle the scenario where we've reached the end of one of the lists and need to add the remaining elements from the other list to the sorted list. Let's look at a quick example. Suppose I have the already sorted lists left and right and we want to merge them into a larger sorted list. Initially, I have the indices L and R beginning at the start of each list. Then we compare the value in the left list with the value in the right list and add the smaller one to the sorted list. Since we added an element from the left list, increment the left index. Then repeat the same thing, compare the elements in the left and the right list and add the smaller one to the larger sorted list. I'll let the animation play for the next couple of slides. After merging the list together, return the sorted list from the merge function. And that's basically how merge sort works in a nutshell. And guys, that's all I have for now. Thank you for sticking around till the end. Please like this video if you learned something about merge sort and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one.